What's that sound? Is it raining outside? But it's supposed to be sunny tonight. Okay, we need to turn on the TV. I'll watch the news. Breaking news, a strange red rain began outside, after which they fell like rain on the villagers they are infected. In front of you live broadcast. These images can be shocking. We want to warn you not to leave your homes. This disease is very contagious. We want to warn you not to communicate with infected villagers. The best doctors are working on a cure for this disease, but the drugs are not ready yet. Once infected, villagers become stronger, more aggressive, faster. We've already called another village to send us their doctors and golems. Once infected, the villagers start attacking other villagers and start destroying the village. We repeat, do not leave the house, it is very dangerous. It was the first village channel, it was breaking news. Oh no! What do I do now? Why is it raining red? I have to calm down. Well, we have to go outside and find Mikey. I hope Mikey's okay and he didn't get caught in the red rain. Hmm. I hope it all works out and this rain stops. Hey, Mikey, where are you? Go home now. This is happening here. You just won't believe me. I hope he's going to be okay. Huh? What's going on in general? Hope with JJ, all right? What a strange red rain. What a horror is happening here. I need to get to JJ's house somehow, but I can't get caught in the rain or I'll get infected and become just like those infected villagers. We need to get out of here, but how do I get to JJ's house? Hmm. If I go outside and I get infected, I've got a big double bed on the second floor. I'm gonna hold her in my arms and hold her over my head like I wish I had an umbrella. I hope JJ's okay and he didn't catch that disease. I have to go up to the second floor behind the bed. I think the bed would be a good replacement for the umbrella. I have to hurry and get to JJ's house as fast as I can. Woohoo! Okay, I think this bed will do. I really need to keep it above my head so it doesn't rain on me. Woohoo! I thought this bed would be much heavier, but it's even better. <laughs> need to think of a plan, really. I'm not very good at it. We've got to get to JJ's house. We've got to try and avoid the infected villagers. I hope I got it, so go! Hmm. Great! The bed looks a little leaky, but I think I can get to JJ's house. I hope I don't meet any infected villagers in my way. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Is this infected villager need to avoid him if I do not want to get infected? This infected villager hits so hard I need to avoid his attacks. It seems he's not the only one here to run from them. They've surrounded me. I have to climb a tree. Woohoo! Great! I got to JJ's house. Honestly, when those infected villagers attacked me in a mob... It's you, Mikey. I'm so glad you're okay. I see you made it to my house. I see you used an umbrella as a bed. <laughs> if I'm honest, I was afraid you were infected. How glad I was wrong. It's just awful. I was in the village when it started raining. I saw the residents turn into infected. I got to the house when it rained on me. We need to get out of the village. Do you have any idea how we can do that? Hmm. Yes. Put on this armor. In this armor, the rain will not reach you. If you wear this armor, then the raindrops cannot touch you. <gasps> I already checked. This way we can escape the village. On TV, they said that this rain only in our village. Oh no! Hiya! Run, Mikey. Ouch! I'll hold them Ouch! off. They are the last ones who can stop us, but now they are not a problem for us. It will still be necessary to find the witch, but I think it will be more difficult. Bring the coffins here, we will bury them, and turn them into just like us! Huh? Where am I? What is this place? What happened? How did I get here? I don't remember what happened, so you need to start remembering. Hmm... Mikey and I got out of the house, and then what happened? Remember, we left the house, and then you bumped into the infected villagers, they caught us! And now I'm here, I think I'm in a coffin. What is that sound of <gasps> fire? You have to get out of this coffin, but I don't have to teach you what kind of material. I can't even break it. They really did not even search us. I was very lucky. I think I can break this coffin with a pickaxe. That I cannot. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. I couldn't even scratch this coffin. We have to get out of here somehow. All right, plan, and hopefully I will succeed. I will put this TNT and look at it. It's a good thing I have leverage, and I hope I can get out of this coffin. I hope I don't blow myself up with this TNT. I'm so glad I brought this TNT. I hope he can destroy this coffin. I need to crawl to the other corner quickly. I hope I can. Yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Great, I got out of that coffin. Now I gotta break Mikey's coffin. Good thing I brought some TNT. I hope Mikey's gonna be okay. Hey, Mikey, are you okay? How you feel? Did those infected villagers infect you? Huh? I'm fine. To be honest, I was pretty freaked out when those infected guys caught us. I woke up a few minutes ago, tried to break this coffin, but I couldn't. Hmm. This coffin is like stone. Good that you had dynamite. Get out of this cave. <laughs> Great. I'm glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I don't want to stay in this cave. We need to find the witch. I heard the infected talking about how she could stop them. Wait, JJ. This just can't be. You're not going to believe where we are. This is the cave where the witch lives. Hmm. What? These infected villagers couldn't see the witch's house. There are runes on her door, so whoever wanted to hurt the witch wouldn't see the door. All right, then we'll ask the witch to help us. I fell into the lava. Why is it so hot? Listen, Mikey, try not to fall into the lava. Yeah. We need to get higher if I remember correctly. The witch's lair is close to this lava. We need to get to the point where this lava flows, hoping the witch will help us. Although, if these villagers wanted to attack her, I think the witch would believe us. Hmm. Yep. Come on, Mikey. We're almost out. We're almost to the lava source, hoping the witch will really help us, JJ. Ouch! Ouch! Think about it. The whole village is infected and they can take over other villages. Ouch! So, if the witch doesn't help us... Ouch! Not only will our entire village be destroyed... Ouch! But the whole world will be sued. Come on, JJ. Just a little bit left. Don't make yourself wait. What if the witch has already been caught and she can't help us? Hmm. I think the witch is fine. Hmm. Listen, Mikey. Have you ever seen this witch? I've heard of this witch many times. Huh? Huh? What? I think we got the wrong door. Get out of here, Mikey. Wait, you were looking for a witch? It's me. Only I'm not a witch and a magician. A witch is my teacher. I know why you're here, Mikey and JJ. You're here for the infected villagers. Yes, we need your help. Suddenly, it's raining red in the village. It's starting to infect the villagers. Then they become aggressive and dangerous. You can help us cure the infected villagers. If you don't help us, the village could be destroyed. Hmm. Here, take this vanishing smoke. You need to set it on fire and throw it at the infected villagers if you can get it all. But as you yourself can see, there's not much smoke, so you'll have to gather all these residents in one place and throw them in. That's all I can do for you. Also take these iron bars, make yourself the equipment you need. Come here, there is a secret exit from the cave. You need to get on this block, then you will jump and appear near the village. Good luck, guys. Hope you succeed. Thank you, Mag. If you hadn't helped us, the village would have been destroyed. Come on, Mikey, we need to get on that block. Then we'll jump up and be near the village. How cool it is. <laughs> huh? Woohoo! It was so fast, I thought it would be a trampoline. And it turned out to be a teleport. We teleported in just one second. I didn't even see anything, and it doesn't matter. Listen, Mikey, we need to get all the infected villagers in one place. Wait, I think I figured out how we can get all the residents in one place. Hmm, but how do you want to do that, JJ? How do you want to get all these infected villagers in one place? With stories, you have a plan or some idea. Hmm. Look, we can dig a long hole and lure the infected in. Huh? Woohoo! It will be necessary to cover the pit with a thin layer of grass so that the infected villagers did not see the pit and did not western anything. Remember what the wizard told us. We don't have that much smoke. Okay, I get it. I like your plan. I'll start digging a long hole so we can cure the infected villagers. In the meantime, have some weed and sticks. Let's hurry up. I don't want to stay long. I hope we succeed and we can cure all the villagers. I agree with you. I hope we can cure all the villagers. I got a lot of sticks. Now we can make a thin layer of grass. Great. I've already made six layers of fake grass. But this is unfortunately not enough. We need to get more trees. I wish I had an axe. Only a scissor. I think this tree will definitely suffice. I still need to make a fake layer of grass. Well, now I have enough sticks. I think 15 layers of grass will suffice me. And if what I do more layers of grass, should I check on Mikey? I wonder if he dug the hole like I asked. He made a big hole like I asked. I think it's enough. Hmm. I think I need to make more layers of grass. I think 15 might not be enough. I wonder where this rain comes from. 
It's weird that this rain only started in our village. Think about this, Mikey. Although it seems to me that we can never find the answer. I see Mikey has already finished digging the hole and he began to put blocks that release the fog. We need to help him. Well done, Mikey. Good job. I'll help you. I still have the smoke producing blocks. By the way, I made fake grass. And if the infected villagers step on it, they fall into the pit. It's easy. And now for the hardest part, we must lure the infected into this pit. But we must be careful these infected very strong. Woohoo! Listen, JJ, can you get these villagers into the pit? Because I am very much afraid of them. Especially when I dug the hole, I am very tired. Hmm. Well, I'll replace the zombies myself. Especially if you can't escape the infected and become infected yourself. Speaking of which, there's a whole crowd out there. We need to lure them into the pit. Good thing I run really fast. <laughs> hey, Nosy, catch me. Look, I'm here. Catch me. Look how delicious I am. Follow me faster. You want to catch me so you have a real chance. I need to gather all the infected villagers at once. How many are infected after all? It turns out only a magician and me and Mikey are not infected. There are so many of them. If they catch me now, I think I'll have nothing left. But I think I'm going to be okay, because I'm bringing in practically every infected villager. Hmm. <laughs> Some of the infected villagers have stopped chasing me. We need to get them to follow me again. Hey, you look at me. How delicious and appetizing I am. Great. Now we need to replace them in the pit. There's not much left. <laughs> well, the trap really worked. These infected villagers will fall down right into the pit. Great. Now we have to wait for the steam to work on these infected villagers. We need to bring more infected people in now. Hey, infected villagers, follow me. Look how delicious I am. You're hungry. Excellent, they follow me, plus four more infected villagers. Like they're the last infected in our village. So follow me, good lads, and now fall into this pit. Hey, infected villagers, follow me. Look how delicious I am. You're hungry. Excellent, they follow me, plus four more infected villagers. Like they're the last infected in our village. So follow me, good lads, and now fall into this pit. Oh no! One of their infected did not fall into the pit. Then you need to help him. Get a stick on the legs that is unpleasant, yes? All right, I can do that. I can put all these infected villagers in the pit. Now we have to fix them. All right, now we need to drop these smoke grenades and cure these infected villagers. After all this, these villagers should make a statue of me. <laughs> because of the smoke, I can hardly see whether we were able to cure the villagers. What a stinking fog. It so stinks so much, just horror. Great, we got Mikey. We were able to cure all the villagers of this terrible disease and save our village. Now we will become the heroes of this village. And maybe even not only this village and the whole world. It is simply incredible that it is happy. It is a shame that our village was very badly damaged. But I think it is not so terrible. You can fix everything and even better than it was. Hmm. For me, JJ, it's a good thing the village is so badly damaged. Think for yourself. Now we can rebuild it however we want. How good it is that everything ended. You need to put all the resources I got in the chest today. What a busy day it was today. Red rain. We were kidnapped and put in coffins underground. We also saved an entire village. I think I won't forget today for a very long time. We need to see how the village is, whether it has already begun to rebuild, and where Mikey, he had ideas on how to improve our village.